Hi guys, this is Mark Haddad here again. So we have now the uh, Juniper connected to the console port. That's really good. Now we need to gain access to the command line because at this moment there is a password for the root, which I don't know it. So we have to find out how we can do the password recovery for the root. So we are able to connect to the command line. As you can see here, we have a lab of five points. Let's start directly with the first point. Point number one, power on your router and press on space after the kernel has been loaded. So let's first have the, uh, let's open this uh, serial com3. Let's open it because now my router is powered off. All right, let's power on the router. So let me just put the cable. So now I have powered on the router and we can see that it has started loading so we have to be now waiting to uh, we have to press on space after the uh, kernel has been loaded so you can see now it's doing the uh, check now it says press space to abort auto boot don't do that just leave to reach to this level you can see on this sign now the kernel is starting to be loaded so now you can start pressing on space all right just uh, do it a couple of times to be sure that it's going to uh, load uh, from the loader so we have to wait a little bit, we have to be patient because uh, it's not a very fast uh, process uh, with the Juniper normally. So now, here we go. We go to the loader. The first command we have to write now is called boot minus s. So we make boot minus s and then we wait a little bit. And then we have to reach to one level where we have to put the second command. So we wait for this to finish. Let's wait a little bit more. So it's all happening, by the way, this is in the FreeBSD. So uh, uh, this is the kernel used FreeBSD, so it's a Linux. And you reach to this level, enter full path name of shell or recovery for root password recovery. So here we have to put the recovery. So let me write it. Re Recovery. So we have to write recovery. Actually, you don't see it because of me. Let me move my picture out. So you see, I have written recovery, right? And then I will say enter. Very good. So uh, it's keep working. Let's put my picture back. All right. So we have to still wait a little bit. Now in a moment, it should ask me to put the new password. And this password is going to be for the root. So the username that we are resetting now is called root. Root is the super user on the Juniper. So this is the highest level privilege user on Juniper. And this is cannot be deleted. So this comes with the, the operating system. All right. So let's wait a little bit until it asks me to put the new password. So as you can see here, it's still loading now. So uh, we have to still wait a little bit more. And then we see if it's gonna ask me to uh, put the new password or it's, if it's going to take me directly to the root without the password, because this can happen also. So let's wait a little bit more and then we see what's gonna happen. So you can see now it's running the, uh, it was saying running the recovery script. So here running recovery script because we said recovery. So it's running the recovery script now to be able to uh, uh, now have the password on the root. That's what it shows over here when we said recovery. For root password recovery, we have to write recovery and then we have written recovery. So this is happening now. So let's wait a little bit to see what's going to happen. So again, as I said, Juniper, the process of uh, the uh, uh, loading and uh, all this takes some time. So you can see we are now on the root level uh, here on uh, the operational level. So what we can now say here, uh, we have to say edit to go to the configuration uh, level. And now what I can do, I can just say set system root authentication. And then what I can do, I have to say here plain text. So what I'm doing, I'm just saying that I want to put the password for the root. And then the new password is Juniper123 within a capital J, 
Juniper Juniper 123 all right so that's it now I can say commit to save this configuration and now we have a new password and some other uh, version like the SRX 100 because I have reset it it doesn't take you to this level to change the password. It will change for you. It will ask you to put the password, the new password directly right away. Point number one is done. We have powered the, on the router. We have pressed space. Then write recovery, put your new password. We have done that. Now, point number three, log in to your new root account and load the config, the default configuration. So we are already on the account. Let's load the configuration. Let's go there and what i want now to do is just to load the default configuration because now if we say show over here then we can see that there is some configuration on this router which i don't want it i just want to have a, a, a the factory load configuration so what we can say here from this level we have to say load factory default and then i will say enter so we're saying activating factory uh, configuration. So that means it is now on the factory configuration. But we have to say now commit to save the configuration. If I say commit, then because we have reset the configuration to the factory, also the password that we have created has been reset. And we cannot commit, we cannot save the configuration if we do not have a password for the root. You see, so you need to create a root password again. Point number three is done. Point number four, save the new configuration. Is it possible? No. Why? Because we have reset the configuration and then the factory configuration that is coming from Juniper, the root doesn't have a password. And if you want to save the uh, configuration that you have reset it, then you need to have a password. All right. So then we have to create a password and we have to save the configuration. So we go back to here. Now we have to create a password again. So we have to say set system root authentication plain text again, Juniper123, Juniper123. And now if we say commit, we are saving now the factory configuration. All right, so we see that it's now doing the save very good so let's wait a little bit so this has been committed now what i would like to do with this lab is finished but what i would like to do i want to reboot this router and i have to see if i put the root as a username and password as uh, juniper123 then in, if this router is going to log in so i will reboot it and we will come back once uh, we have the uh, prompt for the username and the password so here my router has been rebooted. Let's now try to connect to the uh, root and the password that we have created. So that is root and password is juniper123. Yeah, here we go. So we, we are already now on uh, the router. And the first uh, thing it does, it goes to the shell over here. There is the shell level. To go to the operational level, we have to write CLI. I'm going to explain to you all about this in this course and now we have to say edit and yeah here it is if we say show then we can see the configuration that is uh, loaded by uh, the factory so uh, when we made the load the factory for the configuration so this is the configuration you can see that juniper use some programming way to show you the configuration there is also another way to show the configuration not like a programming but that's something i'm going to show it during this course Point number five is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you how you can reset the root password for the router. So in case you get a used router and there is a password, you don't know what is the password. So what you can do, you can just reset it. Remember, you have to press on space, write boot minus S, then recovery. And uh, sometimes, uh, for example, on the SRX 100, it asks you what to do the recovery to put the new password. But uh, it looks like for the SRX 210, it doesn't do that. So we can change the password once we get the access to the uh, root and then uh, yeah, we can go from there and we go to the edit and then we can change the password after that. And also I have showed you how you can also load the default configuration on the Juniper router. So this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.